Guitar knobs and pots are not universal. You have three types of shafts. You have your solid shaft, and then you have a spline shaft, of which there are two denominations. So you got the coarse spline shaft and the fine spline shaft. And I'll show you what that looks like right now in these images. So here's the spline split shaft, and it's, as you can see, it's literally split down the center. Um, um, it, this one is a coarse because it has eight ridges on each side. If it was fine, it would have 10 on each side. So here's another example of this, the coarse spline split shaft. And here's a fine one. This one has 10 splines on each side. And then here's your solid one. Um, now, I can show you my ESP Eclipse. It uses a coarse spline split shaft as well. and But it also uses the domed knobs, which is usually fastened via a set screw. Um, so as you can see, there's, there's definitely some differences. You know, you have three types of knobs as well. You have your bell knob, you have your speed knob, and then you have dome knobs as well. I'm sure there's probably some other miscellaneous and random ones on the market. But for the most part, you know, you have three types of knobs and three types of shafts. And ultimately, I would say that the, the easiest one to install is probably the domed knob. And the reason for that is because it's just fastened via a set screw. Um, I find, I think this is the best type of pot or excuse me, the best type of knob because it's very simple to take on and off. You just need a, t a small screwdriver, a small screwdriver, excuse me. And then you can just fasten it or unfasten it depending on whatever you want to do. Now, when you're using like speed knobs and bell knobs, on the other hand, these things are, uh, like they, they really have to be pushed on. And the, the reason why they do that is cause you know, they'll have like a coarse spline shaft, right? You have the coarse one, like this or excuse me like that and it's like slightly like just ever so slightly bigger than the hole in the bottom of the bell hat or whatever you want to call it and then so you have to like jam it on as, as much as you can and so if you go on youtube you can actually look up people like trying to get these off their guitars and um, it can be like a tenuous process which is and that's the reason why i like dome knobs and not only that but dome knobs just look cooler man like they're made out of steel they're kind of uh, inconspicuous and like kind of sexy looking, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so, you know, they're, they're not all the same. However, you can get universal fit knobs like here. Um, these are from Amazon <laughs> right here. Um, these are supposed to be universal fit. But ultimately, even though there, there are some minor differences between the type of shafts there are and the type of knobs there are, um, th th it's not so different that you can't, that you can't make it work. You know what I mean? Like, like most knobs are probably going to fit on your, your guitar. Um, and not only that, but knobs are so inexpensive that you can just buy multiple types and then try whatever one works and then send back the ones that don't work. But, um, the long and short of it is that no, they're, you know, they're not universal. Um, there are some subtle differences between them. You know, you have your solid shaft and then you have the spline shaft of which there's coarse and fine spline shafts. Um, I usually just opt for the dome knobs. I find that's the best way to go. But uh, yeah, I hope this was somewhat helpful to you. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And then uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right.